As Pope Francis traveled in the Popemobile, he greeted pilgrims waiting for him outside St. Michael the Archangel Church in Rakowski, Bulgaria. Before entering the church, he greeted the sick and elderly outside, as well as the parish priests. As he entered inside the church, he was received by this Bulgarian family. The Pope gave each of them a rosary. He then prayed in silence before the relics of St. John the 23rd, who lived in this country for almost 10 years. The Bishop of Sofia and Plovdiv thanked him for the visit on behalf of everyone. Coincidentally, it was the bishop's birthday. The Pope took the opportunity to congratulate him. The Pope heard the testimony of a religious woman, priest, and a Bulgarian family. They explained to him how God has changed their lives. These children then did a traditional dance for the Pope, who it seems enjoyed it. Pope Francis then delivered his speech full of improvisations and concrete proposals. For example, he told people not to judge or label others. Dobbiamo stare attenti. Noi siamo caduti nella cultura dell'aggettivo. Questa persona è questo, questa persona è questo, questa persona è questo. E Dio non vuole questo. Niente aggettivi. E niente che si Lasciamo che Dio metta gli aggettivi. The Pope said the doors of the church must always be open to all. He asked them to maintain a positive attitude. Una casa con le porte aperte. La chiesa è una casa con le porte aperte. dom su tvoreni vrati. Perché madre. Finally, he asked the young people to face challenges without fear and to approach the elderly, for they are the roots for building the future. Il futuro è nelle vostre mani. Il libro del futuro dovete scriverlo voi. Non stancatevi di essere una chiesa che continua a generare. At the end of Pope Francis' speech, he received a standing ovation. Some people even approached the Pope to give him their gifts.